Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll continue the part series of how I started my law firm after losing my job. On the previous video, I talked about dealing with job loss. On today's video, I'll talk about bouncing back after losing your job. I know as a result of the pandemic, a lot of people lost their jobs. And as things get back to normal, I, ho I hope that my tips will help someone in getting, in getting, back, to their, getting back to their feet after going through that situation of losing their job. Let me tell you a bit about myself. I am Ruth Tanui, an advocate of the High Court of Kenya, and I'm also the founder and managing partner of Ruth Tanui and Company Advocates. I remember for me, bouncing back after losing my job was the hardest part. I remember during that period, I could spend the entire time in the house. It was hard for me to get out. And it literally took tough love from my dad for me to get out of that situation. So I understand how it can be hard. For someone who is also going through the same situation i remember my dad telling me remember money will not come and look for you in the house you have to go and look for it that statement stuck with me from then that is when i started getting back to my feet slowly and i hope the tips that i learned during that time is going to help someone who is also going undergoing the same situation so in this video i'll share seven tips to help you bounce back after losing your job my first tip is for you to start with what you have. I know very well in this situation, it's normally very easy to focus on the negative situation. Yes, I know your account might be reading zero, but what else do you have, even though it's not in form of money? I remember for me, I I looked at, I was, I was focused, I focused on what I had and it was my practicing certificate. So that's, that's when I started getting briefs from advocates. Yes, that money might not be much, for taking briefs from advocates but at least that it gives you experience which in my case i feel it's priceless especially for young advocates who are just starting out i remember even it was during my brief that i i i had my first hearing at the high court of kenya and that came in handy when i started my own law firm so my advice to you is just start with what you have right now don't focus on what you don't have that will be the first stepping stone in getting out of this situation. My second tip is for you not to be hard on yourself. I know bouncing back is not easy. You might be making those applications, but you're not getting any response. You might be trying to start that business or law firm, but things are not working out. But don't be hard on yourself. Remember, even as a result of the pandemic, things are even harder. So just remember there is always light at the end of the tunnel. I remember for me, I can count the number of times I felt that God had forsaken me, but I did not, I did not give up. So also for you, just keep going. Don't give up. Things will get better. My third tip is for you to move out of your comfort zone. Trust me, I know this is the time that it's very easy for you to get comfortable in that situation. And you might even start throwing pity parties for yourself and feeling pity for yourself for the situation you're going through. But... This is the, I feel that this is the best time for you to take risks because you, I, you don't have much to lose. I remember for me during this time is when I built my confidence and went to the police cells to get criminal clients. And, those, and it's because of those clients that I, start, I got money to start my own law firm. That's what I'm saying. This is the best time to get out of your comfort zone. For me, never in a million years did I think that I would work Walk, when I got admitted to the bar, I walk into a police cell to get clients. But it's through doing that is when it gave me the next step of getting the money to start my own law firm. My fourth point is for you to be patient. Remember, Rome was not built in a day. I know there'll be those moments where you'll feel that what you want is not coming as fast as you wanted it to, to come. But as much as possible, do not, be, do not give up. I remember for me, there were times that I wanted to give up because there's times you're trying, you're trying, things are not working out, but as much as possible, be patient and do not give up. My fifth tip is for you to make a decision. Remember, you just lost your job, but your, the world did not stop as a result of it. So I feel this is the time for you to decide whether you want to go to the self, you want to go to to go for employment or self-employment. Remember, both are very okay. Do not start a business or a law firm because your friend is starting. It has to be a personal choice. I remember for me, it was during, I've always wanted to start my law firm. And I remember, for me, I've always wanted to start my law firm. 
and I felt this was not an opportunity for me to, to start it. So what business is that that you have always wanted to start? I this is the best opportunity for you to do that. Remember, this might be a bad situation that has happened, but it doesn't mean nothing good will come from it. Most businesses in this, most successful businesses have been built as a result of a bad situation. So this is the best time for you. It's like, I feel this can be a situation also to start over. My sixth tip for you is to take action. After you have made your choice, you can now take action on whatever you have decided. If it's job, if it's you have decided to get a job, make those applications. If you have decided to start a business or a law firm, start by maybe doing research on what business you want to do or what you need to do to start that business. Remember, life is a hundred percent your responsibility. Me, I remember I made a mistake of trying to fo to focus on depending on people, my networks. Yeah, your networks can come in handy, but remember, it's you to do the work. Don't put all your, don't depend 100% on your networks. Use them, but don't depend on them fully. My last tip is for you to have a plan. Remember, having a plan will give you a sense of direction of where you're going. As Benjamin Franklin said, failing to plan is planning to fail. So ensure that you have a plan of what you you want to do. <laughs> for me, I remember I wanted to start my own law firm, so I made a plan and did my research on how much I need to start my own law firm, and I focused on that. So ensure you have a plan, because it will also help you not to give up, no matter what, because at least you have your end goal in mind. I hope these tips have been helpful to you. I've also shared them in details in my blog. You can check it out. I've placed it here on the screen. And for my next video, I'll be talking about what you need to know before starting a law firm. So if you're interested in starting a law firm, you can look out for that video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.